So this week I worked on uh, some more Grafana dashboards. Uh, this is a uh, modification of the generic UPS stats, in particular for Liebert um, model uh, UPSs. There are some specific uh, to that vendor. Um, the interesting things are that it works. Uh, they've got crappy, crappy agents like anybody else. Uh, you'll see this one. I can't get data collected in a regular fashion no matter what, what we do. So what's really nice is that somebody can come in here pretty quickly and see what's going on with the entire UPS environment. Um, what I did is that there's a um, product category or a, a surveillance category, UPS, and that's that's what picks what's put on this page. Do these templates get published anyway? Yes, on Grafana's site. So as soon as I got to talk to Marcel about how to do that, <laughs> and then I'll be able to do this. Uh, this one should be, I think, uh, other, other customers are using Liebert as well. It's a fairly well-known brand. The second one was, uh, so there's a way to collect data via, via vCenter or through VMware. It's API. And uh, the graphs we have right now are just kind of the, the auto-generated ones in S&P graph properties. Um, so I'm trying to make some sense of those. I, I went after memory because I've seen some patterns in, in just looking at the data in the past. Um, again, I have uh, I've created a, uh, a, JD, or a Postgres data source to grab the categories that I have on my OpenMS instance, and I'm actually reducing that down regex-wise to something that's prefixed with VMware. So I have uh, right now just these two categories. And then what you can see is I have in there, I have three nodes in that particular category for now. This is a start. Uh, and the first thing I went after was a graph that's uh, the memory consumed and the memory zero and the memory that, that the machine is entitled to. And what uh, I worked with David on this a little bit, and we did a uh, actual trend graph. So this is into the future, believe it or not. You know, I extended it out to a month to see see what's going on. This graph's pretty boring on this, this node. Um, for whatever reason, my trend's not working on some of these others right now, and I'll, I'll fix that before I submit this. Uh, but we can get into one of the more interesting nodes here. Um, this is actually an uh, instance of Confluence, um, and it looks like something happened around th this time period here. And uh, we can kind of get into there to see a little bit more. And what's interesting is, is in, and, I, and I haven't quite investigated this all the way through, what's interesting is we can see that there is definitely some correlation between the way that some of these these um, statistics are you know inverse in some cases and sometimes they mirror each other so for instance um, the mem zero here is the orange line let me highlight that one and it's got the same pattern <laughs> sorry as the uh, I can't read my own screen to be honest there we go great <laughs> so you can see that those two have have a have a have a relationship somehow, and then also the shared memory as well. My guess is that the the zero memory is is inherently shared. Um, it just says, "Hey, there's a pointer here. We're we're sharing this this memory that's zero," and then you'll see that 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 uh, entitled that consumed also kind of flip flops on that as well. So what the point is is that we're we're gonna learn about this a little bit more and my team what they've been doing is is using this kind of in a reactive mode and the thought is is that we kind of learn these stats a little bit better and, and understand what's happening behind them we'll actually be able to get a little bit further. Um, this is just another one that shows a little more interesting thing on the trending. Uh, I know that we added capacity. So this is my memory margin. So this is a computed statistic. Um, and what I did is I took the uh, the uh, memory entitled with the uh, memory um, uh, CD. I'm trying to remember. Uh, consumed. So the entitlement versus what's consumed, and then I subtracted those. I subtracted the uh, consumed from the entitlement to give me kind of a, a margin of a margin of memory. You know, this is the, the cushion that it's using. I find this interesting that I know that we added nodes to this to this particular VM cluster. So I have a feeling that, that that's why um, it leveled out, that we were probably poking up against the margin from time to time, and uh, it was leaving itself less of a margin 
to to be able to answer the the, the requests from other VMs. Um, it'll be interesting to go back and actually see if I can cor correlate that to the event. Uh, but this is a good start, I think. Um, I think memory I'm pretty much done with. I don't know what I have as useful yet. Um, that's going to take some time and some experience with. Uh, and then the thought is, is that CPU, there's a variety of statistics around CPU as well that uh, might um, we might be able to do similar things with as well to see what's going on with that uh, and network. Um, and data store latency, and there, there's a ton of data. Um, what we have right now is not very useful, and I'm hoping that, that by using Grafana we can get somewhere. Uh, the trend lines, I think, will I'm still trying to figure out where the right application of that is as we look at these things. I think at the host level they'll be more useful than at the VM level, because the VM level is so um, bouncy, <laughs> whereas the ho the hosts are a little more more static and a little more. Um, usable in that in that sense but that's what I have cool. question <laughs> David yep absolutely yeah and and the challenge was uh, um, I used the the chomp filter mm -hmm. for the first time this week and that was huge because these are as, as I said these are crappy these are really bad SMP agents um, I know that I've been playing with timers and I'm I gotta go check to see if I've played with the timers on, you know, timeout, uh, retries and timeouts on these. Um, that's that's another thing that needs to be done. What's interesting is is that you know using Christian's piece now I can classify these by um, by multiple factors and maybe even say like I've created another category that's a different polar package that's a little more lenient. Yeah, yeah, those kinds of things. So. They're based in Columbus, so I'd love to get some more details from them. I'm not going to go. I have a card from one of them I ran into on an airplane. Oh, cool. So we'll have a little talk. Yeah, it's interesting because I looked at the firmware that we're on is the most recent, and it's really old. Okay. And, and and they've got cert problems. Multiple cert problems. I, I mean, forever, listen, we have a triple EPS that has not quite the big Yeah. EPS is just have garbage management agents. Yeah. Uh, you hear that, UPS industry? Garbage management agents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the OSs, you know, the OSs are pretty pretty robust now. Yeah, except for Windows. Okay, Linux, Linux-based OSs are pretty robust now. At least we can go in there and fix it. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions? All right. Thank you.